seven, six, five, three, two, one, zero. All engines running. We have a liftoff. Food science has always been here at NASA and integrated into the program. I think in the beginning, we had tubes and cubes and we had freeze-dried items. Then we moved a little bit away and did more commercial items. You know, the food so far has been very good. Uh, we couldn't be happier with it. Sounds delicious. We don't have refrigerators and freezers on board, so we have to have all our food shelves stable. Our current missions are about six months of uh, having a person in space, and our foods require about an 18-month shelf life. In microgravity, it's difficult to transfer food from, let's say, a package to a plate. We don't have the luxury of being able to heat at different temperatures or um, using different temperatures of water. There are set conditions that our foods have to interact with. We have to make sure that it doesn't take up a lot of mass and doesn't take up a lot of volume. Astronauts give us a lot of feedback. They want to have food that they're familiar with. They don't want to be eating some weird concoction that we made up um, just because it meets all the other standards. One of the things that people don't realize is crumbs is not, isn't, isn't good on orbit because crumbs make a mess. They get into equipment, they get into people's eyes. In space, the actual sensory perception is a little bit different because you don't have the gravity that um, controls how odors flow within the body and so they actually taste different. And so they want things that are spicier. Every piece of our packaging material has to go through what we call off-gassing because we want to make sure that there's no volatiles going into the air system that either needs to be cleaned up or can't be cleaned up. What I say here at NASA is that I have to be a jack of all trades. I have to know a little bit about every field of food science because otherwise I don't know how to integrate it all. I don't have a typical day here at NASA. Much of my time is spent either at meetings or talking to people. I will be over here at the lab talking to folks almost on a daily basis making sure, you know, if there are any questions or how do we do this better. If we go to Mars, we need a five-year shelf life of food. Well, that means we need to start looking at new technologies to preserve the food. We have to make sure it's safe. You know, how do we maintain nutrition over a five-year period of time? Working on designing the food system for Mars is really exciting because, I mean, everything is up in the air at this point. We think we can actually grow hydroponically in a Mars environment. It's very exciting. To be able to get up every day and go to something that you love doing is really great. Thank you very much for all you've done. We're ready to go. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. I absolutely get a sense of pride when I see, you know, missions go up because I know that, you know, we had our part to play in allowing that mission to be a success. We got a very special, unique mission here that we're going into space and they're all people that we've worked with and it's very special. Martin, sign up, please, for man